Can't you just rotate it upwards? And I could do that, yeah. I suppose that works too. Anyway, there's an easy way to do it, but I didn't do it like that. Um. Okay, that should do for now. I just link that link that back to the main body. Right. Anyway. Get a little bit smaller and move it back to the little home. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Just trying to put it on the grid so it's easier to work with. There you go. And now that's there. A little bit smaller. Cool. Right, so we might want to create a little ground plane or ground area to make like an island or something. So go to your create tab, um, the first button here, nub surfaces and CV surf. Change this to 10, 10, and actually no. And make a nice little area plane there. The advantage of NURBS, a NURBS object, is that it's a basically just massive mathematical mathematical calculation. So if let's say I move this up, it creates a nice smooth curve. Well, sort of, yeah. So now we can go about creating a little terrain. And a little hill there, uh, maybe a hill there. Anyway, you get the idea. It's just all that. Maybe move it over. I don't have to do it this way, I can do it any other way. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do it any other way. Remember that, Jared? Do it any other way. What do you mean? Keep on going. Anyway, so um, we've got a little ground area. We don't really need that at the moment. What we want to do is create a path. So create shapes, the second one. Make sure NURBS curves is selected. CV curve and let's say drag. You won't be able to see it because the ground plane's in the way. And flies off the edge here. Cool. Escape to close it, and I'll just lift it up a tad. That's our little nerves path. If I click the modify and curve CV, the white line is the actual line, and the yellow line is the control surface vector place. So, you know, I'm editing it like this, so it's always a smooth curve. Right, I'll set about just making a of an animation here. Yeah? 